July vlogs. I'm trying to speak a little bit louder today. <laughs> um, so I am making myself a smoothie for breakfast today. So in here I have got frozen spinach, frozen avocado, frozen nectarine, I've got some frozen berries, a few Brazil nuts, some pumpkin seeds and a banana. I'm just going to put some filtered water in there and whiz it up. This is a very thick smoothie. You look yum though. So Pete's got some as well. <laughs> yum. Ah, oh, we're in the woods. It's so lovely here. It's much cooler. In fact, it's the perfect summer's day. I think it's about 18 degrees Celsius at the moment and there's a lovely breeze. It's just gorgeous. Um, we are on the same walk that we did on Friday because I lost Mabel's whistle. So I'm hoping to retrace my steps and come across it. We will see. <laughs> so, um, I had a gorgeous sleep last night. After feeling so exhausted yesterday, I feel much better today. Um, so Mondays are always my food shop delivery day, which is not my favourite, but never mind, we all have to eat, don't we? There's a little boo scooting around. This week marks the beginning of my serious advent calendar preparations. So today, um, after I've put all the food shop away and everything, I will be cutting out the fabric so I'll share a little bit of that with you because I've already shared the fabric on Instagram so that's no surprise um, yeah it's gonna be a busy busy cutting day but I'm gonna have to be careful not to go crazy and upset my back because that will put me out for the rest of the week so if it starts to hurt I'll stop and do something else and that way I actually get more done even though it's a bit frustrating. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and for um, answering my question about, oh, about the sound level. Most of you, oh, it's bright. That's a bit better. Most of you said it's absolutely fine. Some of you said the music is much louder than the audio. I think it's how you listen to the vlog actually i think if you listen with earphones or earbuds i think that's where the problem lies i could be wrong but anyway uh, so i'll try very hard i'm going to try and lower the music just a little bit and hopefully that will kind of um get it more in balance so yeah that's my plan so thank you very much for your feedback and rest assured i'm doing the very best i can <laughs> I'm not a professional, I'm just a little lady doing her thing, so um, yeah, I'll do the best I can to make that better for you. Um, this week, it's mostly about Advents, um, Wednesday I'll be taking Mum to her hospital appointment, and I think Thursday, it's either Thursday or Friday, I've got a hairdresser's appointment. Other than that... It's Advents a go-go. So, we need to get on with our walk to get home, to get the shopping away, to get the Advent started. So, um, I'll chat with you later. Bye.
had a very busy morning cutting out advent fabrics. I feel a bit weird talking because my neighbours are also talking in their garden. Anyway, <laughs> so I've come out to have my lunch, grab some fresh air and to re-energise. So I've cut out almost all of the pattern fabrics. Um, so now I need to cut out, actually I have cut out all the pattern fabrics and so now I need to cut out the lining fabrics but I think I'm going to have to order some because I don't think I've got enough so that's okay. Um, yeah so I got quite a lot done so I'm really pleased about that. Anyway for lunch today I've got some leftover kind of vegetable bakey thing that Pete made yesterday. We had this with fish and it was left over so I love leftover lunches. And I've also got three falafels left over from last week so I really hope they're still okay. And a little bit of piri piri hummus which is nice. And some cherries and some lime infused water. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Then I think I may do a bit of editing because my feet ache a bit so I might do some editing and yeah we'll take it from there This is our tea tonight. It's a Jamie week this week. Is that in focus? <laughs> I should really put my glasses on. Um, yep, so it's one pan fabulous fish. So I've put some washed rice in my pan, add some water, and a couple of tablespoons of pesto. And this is some fresh pesto I've got left over from last week. That needs using so that's pretty handy i'm just going to save a little bit to put on the top of the fish Oops. um just get a bit of a stir around this cooks about 12 minutes you didn't come here the basil's come has it yeah. oh that's good Turn the gas on medium -y. That was Pete. He's still camera shy. He just came in to tell me my basil that's in the greenhouse has just come up. Okay, so that's going. Um, I'm just going to pick some basil from the herb garden. So all I have to do now is chop up some tomatoes with a knife that I didn't get out of the door. There we go. I'm just going to put them in this jug because this jug's already dirty. I'm all for saving and washing up. They just slice all the tomatoes and I've got some red ones and some yellow ones, which is quite nice. Oh, the smell. Basil, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, same of olive oil, some pepper and salt. Thank you. 
So I've got some frozen fish in the freezer. Um, this is haddock. What's this? This is cod. Um, I really like frozen fish, actually. It's really, really good. This is ginormous. That would be Pete's bit. Look how big that is. I've been trying to use up bits in the freezer. Have to get a bit of a backlog sometimes of odds and ends. And that's better, that's my bit. So all we do now, turn that down a bit. It's bubbling away. So add the tomatoey stuff. frozen fish on the top, a bit of pasta, put it on and it will take about 12 minutes. Hey Boo, what is, it? is the ball in there? Is the ball in there Boo? Where'd it go? Is it in there? Oh, welcome. Oh,